Next up, the favorites from China, Sui and Han. Number seven, representing China, Wei Jing Sui and Song Han. The reigning world champions, winners just last week on the home ice in Beijing, where they posted the best score in the world this season by nearly seven points, and now looking to make it back-to-back -back wins two weeks in a row. Triple flip. Textbook. have been on the podium at this event in the past, but have never won. Looking to take the lead here in the short program. This pair that has been together for over a decade now. Coming off the win last week and establishing themselves as one of the top pairs in the entire world. You can just tell that they've skated together for so long. They have that continuity. They have so much natural power on the ice. They're constantly flying around, but you never see them forcing it. There's never that moment where they're getting deep in the knees and forcing the pushes. They just look as if they're strolling, and then the next thing you know, they're flying across the ice. Her landing on her toes and her jumps is just perfect. You don't see that spine move. Everything just has this lightness as it comes out of the air. Here's a look, those side-by-side -side triple toes starting off the program, just easy. And that's what you wanna see. You wanna see that there's not a struggle. There's no fight to it. It's just constantly done every single time with utter ease and this same thing. Look how early she jets coming out of the throw triple flip giving herself enough time to oppose gravity, keeping the spine moving upward as the knee absorbs the impact. 
but just such great quality from start to finish. We saw Sweet get a little bit off balance in the footwork, and then immediately she was right back on in the program. And that's such an important factor. Make them forget. There it is, she starts to get a tiny bit off. But look, half a second later, she's right back into the character in complete control. And that's a very forgivable wobble when you're at an event like this where you're not competing against your top rivals. Well, they have dealt with their share of injuries over the years, and in fact, just last season, they missed the first half of the Grand Prix circuit as she underwent surgery on both feet. So taking a while to get back to their best, but that is where they are at the moment. Reigning world champions. Winners last week and needing just a top two finish this weekend in Osaka to qualify for the Grand Prix final. Just shy of the 80 mark and into the lead as expected. Putting up those big numbers when the Germans aren't here, the French aren't here, the Canadians aren't here, Tarasova and Morozov are not here. They are all watching this event, and when you see a score near the 80s, it puts that pressure on them, even with them not being in the building. 